Hello folks. We all know the saying, when you're standing on eggshells, don't jump, or something like that. Or more so for me, it should be when you have currently got a lot of EV projects going on, don't take on another one. Well, never was one to follow sound advice, me. So, I've been coming in here for the last few weeks trying to think of a way to introduce this particular project. And I thought to myself, just walking up to the barn now, I thought, sod it. Let's just show them. So no more talk. Let's go have a look at their Blau Barsh. Now, as we all know, the Panzer is here following her um, pyro pyromaniac event. So Panzer will be getting fixed first. And for the cat people in the world, which includes me, as we can see, we have ourselves a new Gome cat. Uh, we will call him Gome 2. And Gome 2 um, really approves of the Panzer's custom grey leather interior. But we're not here to talk about their Panzer. No, we're not. Let's come out here. We've been working on the goose. Instead, dun dun dun. There it is. That's the truck. That's, that's the truck. Here we have their Blau Barsh, which is a 2006 E90 Saloon 320D with the M47 2 litre diesel, as they say, around here engine. With some carbon capture devices that will be um, getting chopped up soon. There she is, folks, in all of her glory. My first truly plastic BMW. Now, a bit of history about the, the Barsh. Oh, blast it. Really? Couldn't script this crap. Anyway, so, mm, gonna have to get that waxed. Right. So, this pristine example of modern BM, seriously? Modern BMW engineering. What is that? Oh, it's mud. Um, I picked up a few weeks or possibly a few months ago, I genuinely forget, uh, for the princely sum, 500 euros, my favorite kind of round figure. Uh, for vehicle purchases and uh, this car was in daily use um, up until we've had some seriously heavy rain here the past two months now and the, the e-box which is in here under the bonnet or is it this side or the far side I don't know it's an E90 I don't know anything about them um, but we learn that's part of the fun so the Barsh's um, ECU got waterlogged and she would not start. So I got it, got it on a truck, got it in here, pulled out the ECU, um, put it in the hot press overnight, put it in, car started up. Um, so yeah, it currently starts and drives, um, albeit with a lovely diesel rattle. So, let's have a look inside. Oh. Wash and valet. Mm, gonna need some of that. Right, oh, pesky leaves ruining my paint job. Right, let's have a look. So, inside is pretty Spartan. Uh, kind of a typical Irish car. Uh, cloth seats and very little by way of... Um, nice accessories or things like that. It is a manual, but we'll be changing that, getting grips with some E90 coding. Oh, okay, we're in. So, but it is my first car that has a factory CD player up here. So 
yay for that. Um, like the E65, it's got one of these CAS start stop things and it's got this silly key situation where you have to push the clutch and the key in and let's see if the old bar shall crank over this should be fun go on barsh yeah look at that diesel power folks oh we need to add washer fluid damn it Oh yeah, let's go have a look at this thing. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus, <laughs> that stinks. Yeah, doing our bit for <clears throat> clean air. Yes, EV BMW, doing my bit for clean air. How do you open this thing? There we go. Oh yeah, there it is. Um. Looks great, doesn't it? Oh. Viewing the sky. Let's try not to do that again. So there it is. Our trusty 2 litre diesel engine. It does start. It does drive. Um, but. Other than that. This thing will be coming out. We'll be replacing it. Uh, with some. Electric goodies. Now you're probably reasonably thinking, why another car? Haven't you got enough work to do here, like putting up solar panels and things like that? Yes, I do. But I've always wanted to do another budget EV build like the Red Arrow. And I wanted to take the lessons that I'd learned from that build and apply them to another one. So what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be doing this on a kind of a different basis we're going to purchase all of the parts to do this build so what i mean by that is that our first episode when we get into the nitty-gritty of it will involve going online making a list of the, the parts that we're going to need some of them i already have so we but we will find them online where you can just purchase them we'll have part numbers and leaves and all of that kind of thing we'll accumulate all of those parts and then we will put them into this vehicle and we will drive it in with that noise maker and drive it out with a new electric drivetrain so what parts do we already have and the good news is we have our drivetrain. So let's go back into the barn here and we'll show it to you. And say hello to the main event. This is a Lexus GS300H. Um, I guess you would call it an automatic transmission and the associated inverter. And as you will know, because you're all avid viewers of my crappy videos, we have all of that functioning with our Zombieverter VCU. So this is going to be the main addition to our project. These are quite readily available now for reasonable money. So we will locate these, give you as much um, information on where to find them as we can. And as you know, you are of course avid viewers of this garbage channel we've been working away on these volkswagen chargers or valve as the germans would say and this is going to be our ac charger for our blaubarsch project so there has been some logic to all of the madness folks so there it is, folks. I finally came up with a very crude introductory video for our new budget EV build. Not quite sure on the time frame as to when we'll be actually starting because the Panzer uh, has to get 
back on the road and out of the barn first because we are a single car barn here though i am delighted to have a single car barn so don't get me wrong so it's going to be an interesting uh project as i say so far we have gs 300h transmission and inverter will be making the car move we'll have a volkswagen uh, charger be it might be 3.3 might be 7.2 kilowatts we might even go for broke see if we can get the 11 kilowatt one to work we do want this this build to be quite practical batteries are still going to be the single biggest expensive piece that we have to purchase and we want that again to be repeatable for you for folks so i can't just say oh well i happen to have a tesla model 3 pack sitting here on the shelf so i'll just put that in because that's free so we're not going to be going down any of those uh particular paths as to what the final price will come out at i don't know yet um probably a few grand so it won't be another 1000 euro bill it's probably going to be two and a half something in that region we have on the shelf here another item we've a volkswagen heater so we'll have cabin heat we'll have air con we'll have everything that the car currently has with the diesel engine except the noise and the fumes um battery as i said i haven't made up my mind yet there's a few nice options uh that i'm looking at just to just kind of give you a little rough idea we're probably going to be looking at a hybrid pack so something like a bmw or a volkswagen or audi possibly hybrid battery in the probably something in the 12 to 15 kilowatt hour uh, region we will also be putting fast charging on this car um because as I said again, we can compensate a little bit for having a small battery pack by having fast DC charging and reasonably fast AC charging available to us as well. Oh, everyone's gonna be asking me about specs and top speed and range and all that, genuinely don't know. Um, that's gonna evolve out depending on how we get on with the whole battery choices thing, but anyway. I know should have had all a lot of this stuff more better organized but uh life's been pretty crazy for me over the last couple of months if i'm honest so just wanted to get the project out there to you folks um so you can see what we have coming down the line so presently we have get the pans are sorted and we'll have the blau barsh and you know probably going to be next year before we get to the truck realistically but anyway that's it i've done enough talking uh i hope this project will be both interesting well as interesting as anything on here ever is and also informative you know give people an idea of what can be actually done uh these days uh for you know pretty little money um you know price someone would pay for a you know i guess a mid-range second-hand car so I'll leave it there as always for pete's sake folks don't forget to dislike do not share do not subscribe do not check the links in the description for pity's sake don't support me on patreon or paypal because the more money that i have then the more i'm going to spend on silly projects like this and then i make stupid videos about them and then everyone gets hacked off so <laughs> Anyway, until next time, happy battery researching.